Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Twyla and I am currently pregnant with baby number three. I have an 11 month old and a three year old and we have decided that for this pregnancy, I'm going to be going back to work. So if you wanna find out how I survived working through three pregnancies in the food service industry, then keep on watching. <laughs> So for a little bit of backstory, when I first got pregnant with my son, I was working full time doing closing shifts. So that's usually like 5 p.m. till three in the morning on the weekends and then 1 a.m. during the weekdays. And if you know anything about working in like that sort of kitchen environment, it's a lot, a lot of standing on your feet for pretty much your entire shift, save the couple of times that you get to sit down. And when you're working the late night, it's usually just a couple of you who are doing everything, closing up, cleaning, all the running around. I know you might be thinking, hey, that's not good for a pregnant woman to be doing, but I had already been working at this job full time for like four or five years, so my body was just used to that amount of standing and running around and the amount of lifting that I did on the regular, so that was like normal exercise for me that I was doing prior to pregnancy, so it was fine for me during my pregnancy. And on top of that, I was also very lucky that all of the other employees were very kind to me and very helpful in doing tasks for me that were too heavy for me, or if I needed to sit down for a couple of minutes, they would let me, so I had a very good experience overall, and it really wasn't that bad for me. Flash forward to my second pregnancy with Aurora. I was only working two days a week at this time because we just didn't want to pay for childcare and my husband or my cousin would watch my son on the two days that I worked. Both times at the same job, uh, my husband is the general manager for his store location, so he would usually get me back into the jobs at a different store. But now here we are today with my third pregnancy and starting on November 2nd, I'm gonna be back to work a couple days a week. And since we're going into my third pregnancy while working in the food service industry, I figured I would share with you guys how I survived and how I I'm going to survive again. So these are gonna be my tips and survival purchases that I have made throughout three pregnancies for any other moms out there who are working in food service. Let's go. So before I start showing you guys stuff that I bought, I'm just gonna start off by saying that make sure you know your limits and that your employees are aware of what you can and cannot do in terms of lifting. It's your job's responsibility to accommodate you during your pregnancy to make it easier for you to work. Just make sure that you know all of your rights while you're pregnant and working. I know I live in Canada, so it's a bit different here than I imagine than in the United States. But yeah, know your limits and know what you are entitled to. So the first thing that I'm gonna recommend that you have or at least be on top of while you're pregnant and working is just to be taking your prenatals every single day. It is so important, especially for me this time around, being that I'm still nursing my 11 month old and just being pregnant at the same time, my energy just depletes so fast. So I always have to like make sure, like triple check that I am taking my prenatals every single morning. And then in addition to that, I have also always made sure that when I go to work, I am bringing Tums with me in the event that my stomach gets upset or anything like that. Whatever you have found helps you to deal with your nausea during pregnancy. I recommend bringing whatever that is to work so that you're prepared in the event that that happens for you. So during my first pregnancy, the very first big purchase I ever made to help me get through my pregnancy was a foot bath. If you work at a job where you are on your feet all day long, I am telling you this is something that you are going to want to buy for yourself. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of affordable ones on Amazon that are under $100, so I will leave a link to one of those down in the description box for you guys. But working those long hours at night with limited amount of people and just like hustling around a kitchen all night, Every day I looked forward to coming home and just putting my foot bath on and just sitting there. I really honestly think having a foot bath got me through both of my pregnancies. And to make it even more effective, I would put like Epsom salts inside of my foot bath. There's tons of little recipes that you can find online to make your foot bath experience even better. But yes, I am telling you, get a foot bath. You are not gonna regret it. It is the single most valuable pregnancy purchase that I have ever got in my life. The second big purchase that I got, I say big purchase, like it's really expensive, but these things are like under $100, but I'm, ju I'm just cheap. <laughs> so the second thing I got was a back massager. So I told my husband he either needed to buckle up and give me a massage like every single night <laughs> halfway through my pregnancy, or he needed to buy me a back massager. And he was pretty quick on that. That's how bad he didn't want to have to give me massages every single night. <laughs> I got this particular back massager because I see it like pop up in Brittany Vasseur's videos like pretty regularly. So I of course had to go out and buy that 
for myself and I do not regret it at all. It is so amazing. Basically any kind of little purchase that you can make to help with the aches and pains in your body during pregnancy, do that. Spoil yourself with that because I'm just, I'm just telling you, you're gonna need it. So this video obviously isn't ending up being too long. It's not a whole lot of stuff, just a couple of things that have really helped me make it through. So this last addition to my survival kit is having a one gallon water jug. I suck so bad at drinking water. I forget to drink it if it's not right in front of me. I just don't do it and I go to grab something else with the, a lot of sugar. But as you guys know, pregnant women need to drink a lot more water than the average person. And again, since I'm nursing as well as pregnant at the same time, I decided I really needed to buckle down and make sure that I'm drinking water for when I start going back to work. Which is why I bought a one gallon water jug off of Amazon. I think this was like $25 Canadian. It's really cute and motivational. It tells you all along here what your goals should be, when you should drink it by. And if you're like me and don't like the taste of tap water, what I do is I fill this up with one or two lemons. It is very big, so I think two lemons is kind of better for if you want a lot of flavor. So lemons will improve the taste of the water and also lemons contain antioxidants, so it's good for you and your baby. Aside from that, all I can really recommend is bringing yourself some easy to eat snacks like peanuts, anything that's easy on your tummy while you're walking around all day on your feet. Your life will be a lot better if you're eating more frequent meals in smaller portions because if you eat a really big meal and then get a bout of nausea while you're on your feet all day, it's not a good combination. So definitely try to be very deliberate with the portions and how frequently you're eating. And I think that's it. That's really all of the stuff that I have that is like my go-tos for surviving at work. Don't be afraid to demand rest when you need it. Go to the bathroom as much as you need to. You're pregnant. They need to understand that frequent bathroom breaks are going to be a thing. You have to stand up for yourself at work and take care of yourself and your baby above all. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. And if you are expecting and working in food service, I know you can do it. You can get through this. Do what you gotta do to survive. Uh, thank you guys as always for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing on my videos. And I will see all of you in the next one. Bye.